Equestrian friends, it's me Lisa, the Budget Equestrian, and I have a fun video for you today. We are going to make some bins for our tack rooms using things that you can find at the dollar store. These bins are easy to make and very, very affordable. So the first thing I did was find some bins, and these were in pink, which I wasn't crazy about the color, but they were a dollar a piece at Dollar Tree. And then I found this little hang up thing and it was really cute and I thought this would be perfect for my bins. So I bought one of these as well. And they're going to hang on the basket just like that. So first cut off all of the tags on the bins. And then I just used some random spray paint that I happen to have in my garage. I have a lot of spray paint so I just picked up a can and started spraying to see what it would look like. And this is a silver, I think it's a satin nickel color, and it was a little too light for my liking, so I decided I was just going to go with it on this and see what it looks like. And I didn't have enough to do both of these bins, but I had another can of spray paint, so I started spraying the other one, and I really liked that color a lot better. And I liked it so much, I decided that I would do it on the other bin as well and just kind of overcoat what I had already painted with the satin nickel color. It might seem like it's kind of a pain in the you know what to paint these, but using the darker color, I could really see the paint going on and they really weren't that hard to paint and one coat of paint would cover it. This one obviously got two coats because I had already painted it. So while my bins were drying, I started to work on my signs. And this is the sign that I got at the dollar store and it actually has four different pieces on it. And there's kind of a glittery border around and I really liked the glittery border. So I decided to use chalk paint and just paint the interior of each of those little signs. And I was just really careful when I was putting the paint on so that I didn't get it on the glittery border and so that it was just the interior portion of the sign. And I couldn't think of anything else I would really like to use these little signs for, but it's nice to have some options since I can literally have four different tags so I could make four different bins for my tack room just with one of these signs. And once the bins were dry, I brought them inside. And once my hanging up sign was dry, it was time to put some lettering on. And I wanted to use the ribbon with my hang up signs. So I literally just cut the top ribbon in half so that it's two separate pieces. And then I just folded back the ribbon and kind of detached some of the glue that was on the back. And then I cut that 
and freed the little sign from the rest of the sign. So now I have a sign that's going to go on my bin and my bins are going to be labeled bonnets and boots. And I decided to just freehand this and then just paint on the letters. So first I took a Sharpie and just wrote boots on the little sign. I like working with a Sharpie better because the paint that I'm gonna use is blue and I've learned that if you use a pencil, the lead will actually show through, but by using the Sharpie, it doesn't show through the paint. And if you have stickers or a lettering machine or something fancy, you could put that on here too. I just wanted something simple. That was why I decided just to use paint. So there's my bonnet sign all done. And once it was dry, it was time to attach it to the bin. So like I said, I just used the ribbon that was attaching the different little pieces together. And I'm using that to attach this piece of wood or this little sign to the front of my bin. And you don't have to necessarily attach a little sign. You can, you know, just get some bins from the dollar store and use those in your tack room. But I really wanted to just add a little bit of something extra and these little signs really did give a little bit of extra something to my storage bins. And that way, if anybody else were riding with me, they'll know where the boots belong and they'll know where the bonnets belong. That is if they know what boots and bonnets are. And then I just cut off the excess ribbon. And my bin is all ready to go out into the barn and be put to use. And here are my little storage bins for my bonnets and my boots which will make it easy for me to get to and also to put away. Same thing with the boots. I can just store my boots in here, grab what I want and go. So if you're looking for an easy and affordable storage solution for your tack room or pretty much anywhere, why not go to the dollar store, find some of these bins, 
and you can make some really fun and useful storage bins for your tack room or your home. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots of other DIY horse related videos. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.